All right, so today we're going to dart a rhino bull um, that's causing trouble with one of the, the herds and uh, we're going to load him in the crate, move him from one camp to, or well, from the herd to a bull camp where you can have some, some new friends that would, might <laughs> teach him some lessons. Basically we can take a, the best shot would obviously be about 20 to 30 meters away. Um, we can go up to 50. Um, the best shot is when they move either very slowly or stand still. Um, because of the thick skins, you need a good perpendicular um, shot to the skin. Uh, now we'll just keep him in on sight and remember um, get his location so we don't lose him in the bushes. He's got a horse trailing him now and hopefully we don't lose him. <laughs> We don't have a full-time vet here at Rockwood, but uh, we often use the services of uh, private veterinarians. The reasons why we get them in uh, varies a lot. Sometimes just to have a look at the injured rhino, and then sometimes to also consult for our nursery. The, the young rhinos take uh, quite a lot of care, and it's necessary to to know what you're doing and to give them the right medicine at the right time. I'm Liam Smith, wildlife veterinarian. I'm, I'm stationed in Hopetown, which is about 220 kilometers from here. That's pretty much my furthest point I work on a day-to-day -day basis. And I come to this farm about once a month in the middle of the year and about once every two or three months during the off-season. We do I do, well, I do mostly wildlife, yeah, I do a lot of rhinos. When a rhino needs medical treatment, we get a specialized vet. Um, and usually they live hundreds of kilometers away from here, so getting them here is already an expense. And then in addition, um, because rhinos are huge animals, um, when they need treatment, they need a lot of medicine and just the treatment itself also costs um, quite some money. The situation with our rhinos is that it's so expensive to keep these animals on, keep them alive, pay for the security, pay for their feed and as a whole look after them. And here at Rockwood, they do a lot. This is where we want the money to go to or where we would want people to come and see and experience and know what it is to actually see a difference being made. Here at Rockwood the numbers are increasing at a very steady and good rate but so is the cost and that's where we want and where we need the support. Just on the other side of this little hill, this is actually quite, quite a good spot if you could go down in this open part, but we'll see. He's in a, in a bit of a tricky place now, but uh, hopefully the horse can turn him around and bring him into this perfect open area where we're at at this moment. So actually he went up, went down in quite a good area. We're not too far away from the road, and uh, which will make loading him a little bit better, so or easier. Alright, so um, yeah, we uploaded him. Um, he's obviously walked off quite nicely. Good luck to him. Yeah, 
broke all the fences on the other side, so now I think the oaks are going to teach me a couple of lessons. Thank you.